to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Welcome back, wi fis to yet another underground transmission of the wireless woman. Go ahead. Do me a favor on your way in and like this video. Why? Because when you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. <laughs> And click the notification bell for notifications of when I upload new content, which is getting pretty regular these days. And when I go live, I actually just came off of a live tonight with my girl, Germany Inc. So make sure you go and follow her on all of the social media platforms. She really has something encouraging to say every day. And I think that's amazing because me, not so much, not so much. <laughs> She's like my spirit animal and I'm her dog side. So with that being said, I wanted to come back on and talk about a subject that has come up in some of my conversations. And I wanted to kind of take a different spin with it. I wanted to talk about the concept of gender. We're seeing other communities of people really champion gender fluidity, but how can that actually help the Black community in an encouraging and uplifting way? Someone in one of my podcasts brought up the concept of why do we even need gender at all? And so I took a moment to think about that because I was like, hmm, what has gender really given us? What has gender given us that we that we didn't already have? I mean, it's given us roles, it's given us expectations, and at this point, it's given us the fight of our lives over which genders are supposed to be responsible for doing what. I think it's taken away some of the utilitarianism of what gender is meant to provide for us. You know, gender is a born designation that we don't even really get to choose or have any say over it. It isn't a determining factor in our personality traits, even though because of patriarchy, gender has really been a negative thing for women. It's given power and authority to men who don't deserve it. And yes, Rashawn, I did use the word utilitarianism, thanks to you. <laughs> But it gender hasn't really given us anything as black people that we can use to build our community. Because you have to kind of think about it. Built into patriarchy, misogyny, sexism, the concept of gender gives power to other people for the purpose of capitalism. But because black people are not capitalists, because our patriarchy has no power, Maybe instead of using it against each other to lord over each other, it's time for us to reimagine the concept of gender. So what has gender done for black people that we still need it? You know, here at The Wireless Woman, I'm always looking for ways that we can move the conversation forward. And these gender roles, this gender war, you know, this disharmony and unbalance between men and women seems to be the water swirling around the drain <laughs> that is pulling our community down into the gutter. And so me being the person that I am thinking outside the box, thinking out loud, I think to myself, what is the shortest point between A and B? And in a socialist community, 
where no one is able to capitalize on anyone, we have to get rid of several isms, sexism being one of them. When you look at philosophies like Fred Hampton, Black Panther philosophy, they treated black women and black men the same. You know, you had female captains in the Black Panther organization. You got the bridge. Hey, and they were responsible for certain things. Then there were men that were responsible for other things. I know men that are great cooks. Men that I would much prefer to do the cooking than myself. I'm a pretty good cook. But I'm not one of the best cooks I know. One of the, the best cook I know is a man, baby. <laughs> Clank them pots. And I think that we've allowed so much to be placed on the expectation of gender that it doesn't even allow creative expression for men even more than it does for women being able to label women things like masculine is meant to undercut their achievements undercut their ability to go out and provide for households and families if a woman makes a better breadwinner than a man should she be penalized for contributing to her community in that way simply because she's a woman so i ain't even gonna hold you i only came on here to say that i only came on here to put it out that maybe we should reconstruct our ideas about gender what has gender really given to the black community that we need it i'm done with the arguing back and forth I've done several lives just in this week with conversation with men who want to be better men, with women who want to be better women. And the only thing I can see that's a common denominator and why those the betterment of each gender doesn't seem to benefit the other one is, frankly, the concept of sex and gender. Sexuality and gender politics. If you can have men saying... I was born a biological man, but I identify as a woman. <laughs>
section leaders, what is our concept? One band, one sound. One band, one sound.